Hello everyone, here is Anson. And here is me. Welcome back from the short vacation, Dragon Boat Festival vacation. And many followers may ask what is rice dumpling we have in the Dragon Boat Festival. So we bring you some. Anson, have you have enough in the festival? More than enough. <laughs> uh, what, what about making this for the prize this week? <laughs> Kidding. Okay, let's see who will be the lucky draw winner for last week's video. Three, two, one. one. Stop. Oh. Congratulations for this lucky winner. And we will be contact you via our YouTube account. For joining this comment to win lucky draw activity, just leave a comment and share your thoughts about Sid and Sid's product under this video before this date. And Lucky Draw winner will be announced in the next week's weekly show. Let's first show you some interesting demo this week. Sure. The first one is with Spinosaur and the latest re released the group shape for Spinosaur. And here you could see there are some fruits which we call it lychee. And could you imagine you could even use some fruit to play a song? How, how do you do that? Let, let me show you. This is a technology called Q-Touch of Studio Cell. And you just connect this to Studio Cell's GPIOs. And each one represents a tone. So when you touch it... So see? how does it detect the changes? And the Q-Touch technology, just when you touch it, the capacity will change. and. Sedona so we detect this change and um, so it will output some signals to the GPIO pane. And see. when we connect a Groove Speaker Plus to it and we code uh, each capacity, which capacity change will represent a tones and when we touch it, so wow. it will. Yeah, so you can just play a song. Why don't you show me a song? I show you my favorite song. Yeah, sure. Thank so, you. So how how about if we change the the fruit to other stuff? Yeah, other. you could change to any other fruit, even uh, just as it has water inside. So. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it can be anything. It, you, you could just remove it and use your fingers. Oh, I see. And any kinds that could have the capacity change will work. That would be so powerful. That would be so good. The next thing is the Jetson Xavier NX Dev Kit. Jetson Nano is certainly a good product for edge computing, but the GPU of Jetson Nano is still not composed competing for some scenarios. Even in situations like performing object classification, the FPS is not so great. Yeah, for me, just 30 or 40 FPS will be good enough in many cases. But sometimes in some specific case, in some specific scenario, I would prefer to have 60 FPS or higher. Then you can upgrade to the Jetson Xavier NX. Why not just show us? For sure. And here is the camera. So yeah. we just try some model that have been changed. Let's first try the OLED six, uh, 0 0.96 inch. Let's try make it closer. It just so been detected immediately. So we can also see the competency of the detection yeah, here. on the corner. So we change to the I square C touch sensor. This one. So it has a quick FPS, so you can detect very quickly. So like I change back, or LED, this one, yeah. And the group shape for Steno cell. Seems pretty accurate. Yes. For better accuracy, it's, it's better to have more tra training pictures or some more training models, basically. Yeah, where it's taking long, not the time. Mm. So that's, that's this model. So what's next? Uh, we have this group triple color e-ink display 1.54 inch. If you ever use an Amazon Kindle or any other electronic paper devices, 
you will not be unfamiliar with this kind of so-called electronic paper or e-ink displays. So it is a TFD active electrophoretic display with extreme mm -hmm. low power consumption and could have image still display when there's no power on. Yeah, now there is no power on. And this 1.54 display contains 152 by 152 pixels and has, let's try, one big white or black and one big red full display capacities. Now let's see, it's turning on. And its refreshing rate is really low. So you could see the picture is changing very slowly. So it's extremely low no. power consumption and wide view angle makes it an ideal application such as electric show label, industrial instrument and so on. And besides a 1.54 inch uh, display, we also have other size e-ink display for Arduino run Raspberry Pi. So if you're interested, please go to our bazaar page and find out more. So what will be the next product? So we have the A-I2C hub here. So the Groove 8 channel I2C hub is based on the TCA 9548A I2C multiplexer chip, which adopts time division multiplexing technology. Using this hub, you can plug up to 8, eight same address I2C device for the same Groove I2C system. So no more worrying about the I2C conflicts. Oh. So if you are a fan of I2C devices, do not miss this one. And besides this A channel one, we also have Groove I2C hub for 4 port and 6 ports. So if you would like to find more, go to the bazaar. And so I hear we have done some updates on our bazaar website. Yes, so our, sit, our Bazaar team has been working hard to work on the improving the website interface and recently the website has been updated so why don't I just show you by taking an example so let's take Raspberry Pi 4 for example here's the main page so what we have recently done is we added a model selection here so there's no more just type in here there's no more type in Raspberry Pi 4 to find the version for you you just go into any Raspberry Pi 4 bazaar page and you can select the model by by choosing this box or in one page yes and also we have changed the layout and so we have added this also add section so we can see that Raspberry Pi 4 is also compatible with some of the some of the common product from us so here we have a groove, groove base hat which is one of the common product for Raspberry Pi 4 and we also changed the layout for the for the page for the bazaar page for the product page so we can see there's under the product details we have the learn and document session and we can if we just click on it and you just jump straight to it and we can find all the useful learn pages and documents here furthermore we also added FAQ owned by the discus so here we can find some of the frequently asked questions by our consumers and so yeah these are the some of the major updates from this week so do we have any more promotion this week yes now we have the still no gd32 risk 5 kit with lcd original price is 50.9 dollars and now if you add to the Card and use the coupon code GD32 risk 53 you could have immediately three dollars off wow. and we have more and these six products are the products that are being promoted this week and all have very attractive price so go to the bazaar to buy out more happy time flies quickly and it's time to say goodbye so let's enjoy our leisure now so bye 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 Mmm.